Hi traders and welcome to my fourth trade that I'll be taking on the Bitcoin. So as we can see, we have the MACD set up and the MFI set up. Two technical indicators that I do discuss in a strategy segment on my channel. So right now what I'm looking at is some bidding strength at the 2156.63 and some asking weakness at the 2156.64 as there are more bids than offers right now between the spread. We can see that order history that I'm quickly scrolling through was quite bearish. And then it turned quite bullish, and then bearish again, and now it might be turning bullish again. So I'm thinking about buying this market at the 2156.64, and I would just have to push it here. And I'd be getting 0.46 Bitcoin, meaning that if Bitcoin went up 100 bucks, I would make 46.3 of those dollars. Yeah. Is this a spot we want to buy? And I think this is the spot that we want to buy, especially because those offers just weakened and went upward. Now it's at 21.58. All right, I'm gonna buy this. MFI looks great. The MACD looks great. And this does look like a stopping point. I'm gonna buy a 2167.64. I'm gonna buy $1,000 worth at 2167.64 because as you can see here, we have an MFI coming away from oversold. MACD is turning bullish. Order history is bullish, and the bids look great, and the offers don't look as good. So let's buy at 2170.03. That's the best price we can get, so let's buy that. So now we own 0.47 Bitcoin and we bought at 2170. And I think this looks pretty positive. MACD looks great. MFI looks great. Order history looks great. And the bids look great. And the offers look, look like they will weaken. So we'll go from here. So I just got out of this trade. As we can see, ignoring the technical ind indicators and just looking at the order flow. The order history was quite bad. We had a lot of Bitcoin being sold, as you can see here. And then I saw all these offers that were being offered right above the last traded price. So what I did was I got rid of my position at 2195.58 and made a small profit. Um, yeah, as you can see here. I just think that this is going to pull back first and that the best spot to buy instead would actually be to buy when this pulls back down to here and then maybe or even lower if it hits some stop losses first and then after that to pick it up again because this just doesn't look that bullish right now. So I think I made the right decision and I'll go from there.